you have asked about this little painting which I have posted in various places and I thought I'd do a video tutorial for you. I can't take credit for this idea. Um, I was looking through some of my art books for inspiration and I came across this. It's um, in a book by a lady called Linda Kemp. I've since found out she does have a YouTube channel so hop over and take a look. She does a lot of negative painting. It's, I think the book is called Painting Outside the Lines but she does a lot of painting the gaps and not the objects and it, it's an interesting thing to do. It's worth doing. It, it may just end up as a, a bit of you know this you do something with it it may not be of something you want to put in a frame but it's a really good way of helping you to look at the spaces and not always the subject i'm often saying to my students as i do um look at the gaps it will help you see the shapes especially if you're doing say you're doing a still life and you're trying to place the objects in the right place um, look at the gaps that are created by the objects and that will help you with your coordination of the various objects so that's one that I did in sepia I believe it was and then here's a little more complicated one which nearly drove me round the bend um, with lots more branches in and I haven't actually finished it because I was going to go darker and darker I was sort of thinking about well I could create like a circle and take you through going darker and darker it's all the same colour so all you're doing as we know with washes you're doing the layers okay and you're building up the intensity of the colour that's another one that I started and then lost heart um, part way through I thought well I'll, I'll make a tunnel effect but anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I started because then you'll be able to have a go yourself and although you can see Linda Kemp um, her lovely work I know some of you like to listen to the sound of my voice so here it is and you can all take a nap while you're listening so I'm going to put um, a pencil mark in just to show you how I started but after that you really really don't need to okay so I'm going to start off I'm making it tall and thin because it's a scrap of paper I've got left over don't like to waste anything oh it's a good start Okay, just hang on a tick while I just sharpen that. La 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 la. Right. So putting in a nice pencil mark so you can see it. So I'm going to make my first tree. And I'm going to have some branches going up like this. Don't get too wound up about it. Start to make the shape. Oops, that's got a bit narrow there, hasn't it? Okay. I'm going to go branch over there. And again, this is where you start to think about the shapes, the negative. I'm having trouble with that pencil, aren't I? It has been dropped at some point. Just bear with me while I find another one. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're starting to think now about the negatives the shape that these branches are forming. Are you still there? You haven't lost the will yet, I hope. Let's make another... Um, that's a bit of a bent one there. So are you starting to see now where this is going? Uh, 
there. We'll have another branch there. I'm going up there. It's very crude. I thought out the other ones a bit more than I, I have done here, but I just want you to get the idea of what's going on. Right, that'll do. Okay, so what we've got here, effectively, if you think about it, is we've got branches from here and they're overlapping and they're going round there and they're going across. Now if you want to fiddle about with it a bit more you can rub some of these lines out and create some more branches but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some paint on that for you so that you can see where I'm going with it and what colour shall we use? Uh, I don't know, let's have a look. Um, oh look here's a nice let's have a bit of green so you're going to effectively put a whole layer of paint on. This is going to be your playlist. Your playlist wash because then you can go darker and darker. Right, I will finish that off camera so you don't lose the will and when that layer's dry I will come back and show you the next layer. So that layer has dried off pretty much and I'm going to do the next layer now and I'm going to build up the colour. Now it's the wash, it's the same density. You're not adding any more pigment, you're just making sure you've got enough of the same density. So as we know, as it goes on top of that, it will appear to look darker and darker. So I am going to go in and decide where my line is going to go here and my tree is going to go up there. So I can start off by painting that in. The sharp eyes out there may notice I've changed my paintbrush. That's because I couldn't find this one when I started. <sighs> Nothing like being organised. This is my good old trusty cheap number. Oh it's come off six I think. Okay so that's the side of that tree. Now I'm going to find the side, the other side of the tree and I'm going to make a branch that will go there. Just have a little daydream while I'm doing this bit. Right, so we started with the second tree. So now we're going to um, put some branches in. Now, because there seems to be a watermark there, I'm going to utilise that as my tree branch. And that is going to be my next one. And then my next one. Let's lift some of that out because it's a bit too intense. Now that branch is going up there so continue the line and we'll have a split there Lift a bit of that out, and that branch is going up there. So 
So those, there's no other branches, those can be filled in. There's a branch coming up here, which I'm going to have continue up there, and then there's going to be a branch going off there. We're going to have a split there. And a split there. Let's make that a bit finer. That's going up there and I'm going to make a branch to go up there. And there's that one going up there. So that needs to continue up there. So you can see how I've done it here in this one. That was the second tree. This one's not very sharp is it? Let me get that other one's a bit better. There we go. There's your first tree, there's the second tree and you're following some of the branches through. When, <laughs> when you get to a lot it doesn't really matter if they actually connect. Excuse me a minute. <coughs> Because nobody, unless they've really got some sort of mental problems, I don't know, nobody's really going to stand and say, well, look, that branch doesn't connect up there. What you're doing is you're cre creating the impression of all these branches going along like that. So you don't have to worry about it too much when you get into lots of branches. Now, this tree has split there, so we've got to make the other side of it now. And I'm going to do that there and there and I'm going to put another split there where that branch goes off there. So I hope you are starting to get the idea. I'm going to fill that one in completely because see the branches are going up there and then we're going to have some going there. That could do with being a bit dark. Let's just plonk a bit on. And here that will be darker and here that will be darker. You can of course place your branches according to where you've got the most dense wash. Oops, missed a bit there. And of course you can take your time over it a bit more. I just want to get this demo done for you so you can see what's going on. So we've got another branch there. So we've got one going up there that's filled in. That's going behind there, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's have another one come in here somewhere. And one going there. And we'll have a split there. Sorry, this one's a little bit scrappy. I've got another one there. Then we've got some going up up here. One going there. Let's have a... Where's that gone? We've got something going on here. I haven't finished that one. You sort of move between them because then you can see it's again like I often say about painting, do a bit of everything, then you can see the shapes starting to come together a bit better. Uh, there's one going there. And we've got one going there. We'll have one there. Oh, we'll have one there. Lift some of this out, I've got too much. Do, do, do. Let's put the other one there. Okay, and so on and so forth. So 
I hope that helps you look at this as a little idea but it really is I mean it's fun to do it's quite a meditation and you can play lots of different tunes with it different ideas um, you could if you wanted to be really clever you could have um, a picture of a deer in the background put that in white leave it as white so you've got a ghostly deer or something like that. So it's just a little bit of fun, but it's a great way to help you think about the negative spaces. So enjoy that, have a go. And if you come up with any other uh, um, ideas or subjects where you could use this, please let me know. But whatever you do, enjoy your painting.